Nano Hub U online instruction. Hey everyone, welcome to lecture 313. So we're continuing our example in MEEP on ring resonators. And if you're uh, following along on your browser, then remember that there is this MEEP tool here uh, where you can basically use Nano Hub to run uh, the MEEP tutorial example that we're discussing. Okay, and so then what are we gonna do with the ring resonator? So uh, one key thing that we may wanna do is figure out like what are the modes that are allowed in the system since only a certain number are allowed, especially for a small radius ring. And so uh, of course one approach might be try to excite each possible frequency with a very narrow pulse and then try every different pulse, right? So in principle, that could work, but it would take forever. So instead we wanna get all the frequencies in one fell swoop. And so here we use a technique known as filter diagnosis, And uh, the program that implements this is called HARMINF, short for Harmonic Inversion. And there is a paper on this by Mandelstam if you wanna look it up, but basically it assumes that all the fields that are observed follow this functional form, where it's basically a complex uh, amplitude times a complex exponential, uh, which is characterized by uh, imaginary and real part of uh, frequency. Okay, and so then the real part of the frequency, omega k, of course, is telling you kind of the normal harmonic uh, oscillation, but then this gamma k is telling you a decay rate. And so then uh, you can define the ratio omega k to twice uh, the decay rate gamma k as being the quality factor. So of course, if the decay rate is very small or basically zero, then quality factor becomes arbitrarily large. Uh, but of course, in real uh, simulations, we'll always get a finite quality factor. So in this particular case, we were running this for the small uh, default example, you can see it actually gives us a quality factor um, at a frequency of 0 0.12 of about 80, and then at a frequency of 0 0.147, a quality factor of 316. And then a third uh, mode at a, a frequency of 0 0.175 with a quality factor of 1677. And so why is that happening? So of course, we, we remember that we have to have a certain free spectral range. So there's like a, a spacing between modes and you can see that the spacing is about uh, 0.03 in the MEEP reduced units. And of course, you can calculate this analytically pretty much. Um, and then the second point is why are, are the quality factors going up? Is that just random or is there a rationale? So of course it, there is a real reason, which is just that as you go to higher frequencies, the wavelength gets shorter. And so uh, the, uh, the curvature uh, is not as severe for those higher frequencies as it was for the lower. So then that means that the losses are gonna be lower as well. So that increases the quality factor. And so in order to kind of capture uh, the output of the rings more precisely, then we can actually add some extra code. It's basically just a single line, which we can put into uh, the default control file, ring.ctl. And basically it tells you to run uh, every 20th of a time step or 20th of a period and output the E field. And so what this will do basically is allow you to run with like certain uh, central frequencies and then visualize like one, one mode at a time because we already know where the modes are. So we can actually isolate them using like a center frequency close to what we identified in HarmInf, plus a much narrower range of frequencies, DF. And so if we do that for each of these, um, then we'll get a bunch of output uh, raw H HDF5 files, which is just a data file. Okay, but then in order to see, see what's happening, then we need to convert that, those data files into PNG files. And so we use this h5 to ping command, which is available on command line, or in the MEEP tool itself, you can output uh, the PNG files and look at them directly from the HDF5 files. In this case, we actually, since we're working on the command line, we can also create a movie uh, that will show us uh, what's happening over time with each of these modes. 
And so in the next slide, you can see actually like what's happening with each of these modes. At the lowest frequency, you can see it has like the longest uh, wavelength. And so there's only uh, basically three periods as you go around, and then it's radiating lots of power. So that's why the field uh, intensity outside is very strong. If you look at the second example, you can see that there's uh, many more periods. There's at least uh, four periods there. And as a result, because um, it has a shorter wavelength then you have like less radiation, so there's more intensity concentrated on the ring. And then finally, that mode extends even further to uh, more periods and then less radiation and thus a high, higher quality factor. In the next lecture, we'll show more examples of how MEEP works.